let's go. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work and hope your health and strength is good. And it's Friday, the 27th of January. Ooh. We're almost out the month. Another 28, 29, 30, 31. Four more days. Ooh. Time flies. Look, you know, I don't, you know what? I don't like, in the video game industry, I don't like leakers. I really don't. Because leakers to me are like, um, what they say, snitches. Leakers are like snitches in, in the video game industry. And um, leakers uh, are not leakers are not committed are not committed to the team or to the project, you know. And um, to me, they, they really don't serve no purpose, you know. And if you sign an NDA and you're, you're if you sign an NDA and the company is working on a game, then you know let the company the the, the head boss or the, the head boss or the um, Vice President, you know, make announcements about what's going on, you know, versus someone leaking it, you know, because, le you know, leakers, you know, ruin the, um, the momentum of a game, and then the other thing I have a problem with, too, is, like, when people get on YouTube and they speak up, they speak on a game that they've, that they've, that they have never, uh, never played, they, they start talk, they start talking bad about the game without even playing it, you know, and, um, that's what I, I, I try to, that's what I, that's what I hate, and I try to stay away from that stuff, that leak stuff, and um, talking about a game I never played. So, um, you know, I think, you know, if 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 you sign an NDA with a studio, you know, you shouldn't be leaking stuff unless the 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 manager tell you to do it. Then okay, it's, it's then it's okay to do it. But if they didn't tell you, then what are you doing it for? Because because. Cause all you're doing is putting your job in danger, you know. So, anyway, and you're and you um and you can't be um, what's that word? You can't be trusted, you know. Anyway, listen to this. I'm talking about Star Starfield here. Says here, uh, says here, leaker share shares worrying reports on Starfield and Redfall development. Says here, the most anticipated Bethesda game, Starfield and Redfall, are seemingly far from being ready to ship. Despite their upcoming uh, release date, it says here. Oh, by the way, I will put the uh, the Xbox uh, presentation with this week on Xbox in the description box. I will do that. Okay. Um. Anyway, it says here, so you can so you can watch it. it says here. Okay. Uh, a new report reveal has revealed that Starfield and Redfall are possibly in rough shape, and that they need additional months of development to be finally published. Starfield and Redfall are among the most anticipated games of 2023 and are both being pushed by Bethesda. They are expected to release in the first half of exclusively on Microsoft console, promising Xbox Series X and S enthusiasts new exclusive games that PlayStation fans couldn't play. <laughs> Says here, Starfield is an action RPG, that part we already know. Says they are set in space that will allow players to do almost anything they want in the universe. That in the universe, from discovering new planets to meeting alien species and customizing their spaceships, Redfall is set on Earth after a vampire took over the world and plunge in plunge it into the shadows. This open world FPS features both single player and co-op modes for players to fight against the vampires with various weapons and superpowers and it says according to a person going by horns on Resteria who leaked the release of Tango uh, Game uh, Wars Rhythm Game Hi-Fi uh, Rush prior to announcement during the Xbox and Bethesda developer uh, direct Starfield and Redfall are far from ready to be shipped despite their release date coming closer the leaker states that both games are in rough shape and should be and should use more quality control but before they hit the shelves. While Redfall is in better shape, Starfield the two games are not yet ready to be pushed even though Microsoft announced they would come out before June 2023. Then it says during the Xbox Bethesda uh, developer direct, publisher announced that Redfall would 
release on May 2nd, 2023. Starfield is expected to release about a month later, as Microsoft wants the game released before the end of June 2023. The leaker explained that this decision to rush the release of these games, even if they're not yet ready, was made because Microsoft lost a lot of money on Azure, its cloud uh, computing platform. The company asked all divisions to uh, blunt this loss, and that includes Xbox and its upcoming games. And see here, last paragraph here says your Starfield and Redfall are Starfield and Redfall were already postponed as both games were initially supposed to come out in 2022 delaying the release date again seems unlikely especially if the reports of Microsoft needing these games out before the end of the fiasco year proved to be true on top of the question the current development the state of Starfield and Redfall the leaker announced that Diablo 4 was was also not looking good and that its June 6 release date was questionable while Diablo 4 is not being pushed by Bethesda it's it is one of the most anticipated games of 2023 and fans have high hopes for this new title like lukewarm uh, reception of Diablo Immortal look Look, I, like I said, I don't like leakers, and um, I don't, you know, um, you know, I would rather, uh, when it comes, I, I would rather um, hear the, I, I would rather hear the news from Todd Howard himself on how the game is going versus some leaker who's trying to get some attention. So, you know, I would rather Todd Howard come out and explain the, the game, you know, on what's going on and where they where where um where they are in the stream of things as far as Starfield and Redfall is concerned. You know, to me leakers are desperate and leakers are looking for attention and leakers can't be trusted, you know. Um and leakers uh uh you know put their put their jobs in danger of what whatever they're whatever they're doing because they 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 spread some information that they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't spread so um, if you're working for a company you know, like a game studio and you sign some NDAs man it's best you follow what the NDA say and let the um, let the company or the, 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 the person in charge do, do the talking you know and um, that way that you know the, um, you know it'll save you some headaches you know if they're working on a project a, sp a specific game but just to leak something out before it's before it's not released, um, you know, you know, you can't be trusted. Just like I seen people like doing a review, like reviewing a game before it, reviewing a game before it, reviewing a game when they never played it, you know, and then like trying to compare it to the next game, they 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 play, trying to compare it to the last game, like someone who like do like a review. Like say like of a of a Gotham Knights, and they'll try to use they'll try to use uh, Arkham Knight to make their uh, their argument. You know they never played Gotham Knights, but they made a video doing a comparison with Arkham Knight. You can't do that because you, first of all you never played you never played the game you never played uh, Gotham uh, Gotham Knights before the release date. You might saw a video of it, but those are two different games. So you have to, you have to like play the game first to like to see, you know, to see what's what. But just to be making a video and doing a comparison of a earlier game versus something that's in development, you know, I think some people are just desperate for clicks and, and views and likes or whatever. But to me, this leaker, you know, is like all that was necessary. I would rather. I would rather, I would rather, Todd Howard's come out and, and talk about Starfield. You know, Todd Howard's one of the developers talk about how the game is going, than listening to some leaker that don't know what the heck they're talking about. You know, so to me, leakers are just desperate, but you know, and, um, and they can't be trusted sometimes. You know? So yeah. Anyway, other than that, man, um, 
you know, Starfield look like it's in a, it's in it's in some it's some kind of issue or some some kind of prop some kind of issue. We'll see what happens come June or summer of 2020. C come come, we'll see we'll see what happens comes June, you know, and see see what uh, Microsoft does. But um, Microsoft is also having a um, uh, an Xbox uh, showcase um, in um, in the summer. So this leaker's information is kind of like uh, it's kind of sketchy, you know, it's because they have a summer they have a summer fest. Xbox will have a summer fest in the summer. So um, uh. I don't, this information that's being leaked, this information that game, Gamers Rand is talking about right now, that leaker right now can't be trusted because if Mike, if Xbox, if Xbox is having a, um, if Xbox is having a, um, a summer face in the, in the summer, that means Starfield, that means what this leaker is saying might be false. If Starfield, if they're having a summer fest, that means Starfield might come out somewhere down in the end of the year, you know. So, and and that's how, and that's how you gotta gotta approach this. Starfield might come out in the end of the year. So, like I said, leakers can't be trusted right now, you know. So, I mean, especially when it comes to Xbox games right now. So, um, we we'll, we'll have to wait. We we'll, we'll have to wait for summer fest to see what Microsoft does. But this information here is like kind of like on shaky ground. So. Only time, only time will tell if this leaker's information will bear fruit. You know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens come uh, Summerfest, right after E3. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Hope you share your comments. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Good